Today's video is about things I bought as a result of YouTuber recommendations. And uh, just want to go over a few of them real quick. And then we'll get to this here. And this. But the first one is uh, I want to pay tribute to my buddy. Um, <laughs> Noodles the Cat 100, and uh, he, one of his last videos, he had uh, this speaker here. Uh, it's the Anchor Bluetooth speaker, and uh, I have it linked up to my phone so I can listen to YouTube videos while I'm reloading. So, um, hats off to to Noodles the Cat, Kevin. Um, he recommended this in it, and it's it's a good product it was so good I got I got two of them so I have two anchors so one in the garage and one in the office or reloading bench or whatever uh, the next one uh, is from log cabin looms and it opened up and spilled everywhere but this is my Lee loader log cabin looms um, was showing uh, some reloading with this Lee loader and so I was reloading 30 odd 6 at the time well I wanted to get into reloading 30 odd 6 at the time I didn't want to get a whole setup um, so I got this Lee loader just to reload for for my specific 30 odd 6 and it's it's really coming handy for as much or as little 30 odd 6 as I reload this definitely fit the bill all right, next recommendation, again from Log Cabin Looms, is the Lee 4 Turret Press, or 4 Hole Turret Press. And uh, he also recommended getting plenty of these um, extra turrets. Um, so it has really, it has really come in handy as far as the variety of things that can reload. So, uh, and these are like 10 bucks. So I can leave all my dies hooked up, and the change out is really, really quickly. I got some tape on there, but um, it's nice that I can leave these set. I don't have to with a single uh, single stage press. I would have to reset all the die spacings every time I wanted to change the die. But the four turret press um, really, really helps. Now I don't always use four dies uh, one is more for a factory crimp but it is nice sometimes when I want to run a, uh, a resizer <laughs> when I want to want to run a resizer I can put the resizer uh, die into uh, right here the resizer die into into the turret and run the resizer uh, in case I have a bullet that is oversized without having to unload everything and just putting the one resizer die in there. Got a heck of a mess here. The other one, I don't remember who recommended this, but um, maybe it was Ammo Ammo Channel or um, I can't remember his his channel name, but he had one of these and I was like, oh cool. So um, definitely a worthwhile tool if you need to trim cases such as with uh, Two, two, three. These are nice uh, to trim the case mouth, the uh, or to deburr the case mouth. And also, if you have um, swedged or what they call staked primer pockets, uh, this will taper off the primer pocket, so you can get a primer in there. All right. Next one, of course, somebody uh, somewhere with some EDC or bushcraft has always recommended one of these. I don't know who I saw first, but when I was in my local uh, uh, Wally World, hey, they, uh, they recommended one of these. And um, yeah, just handy to have, keep it in your car, keep it in your bug out bag or whatever. You keep it uh, for emergency purposes. Next, El Tenda. Altenda recommended this book. It's from Bob Reeser. 
and you right now at this moment you can still find a few good videos on how to build a lower or upper uh, of your AR but I tell you um, as somewhat of a prepper you know you got to prep for more than just emergencies you got to prep for the inevitable or the what seems to be the inevitable um, when YouTube decides to pull all the instructional videos of how to you know assemble a, an AR um, this was uh, $15 maybe if that AR-15 build for $15 I don't know I can't remember it wasn't much but very nice pictures in there and uh, I highly recommend it there's a few things in there that I would do differently but it, it'll get you there it's kinda like using a Garmin <laughs> it's not the best route but it'll get you there uh, what I like most is just where the parts go um, you know knowing what the parts look like and where they go how you put them in there that's up to you um, you know if you have another method of putting in there but it for me it helps me remember where all the parts and pieces go and what they look like so invaluable if you have an AR or you plan to build an AR or just to have as reference because um, so I've got a lot of pictures I like pictures um, next Mr. Bullet Points the latest one Mr. Bullet Points um, he had this I can't even remember what it's called um, it's the Marmot Flip Up Iron Sights and of course it's made in another place um, but these were $16 I looked at some other ones that were available on, on um, Amazon and uh, I can't put the link to it obviously but uh, some plastic ones were nine dollars were the least expensive ones but these were sixteen and they are as uh, Mr. Bullet Points mentioned these are um, aluminum and what's nice about them is they are I don't know if you call it um, they're they're not the the V type uh, front sight they've got the the semicircular which is nice because it makes it easier to center when you're looking in in the the peep sight in the back so I don't know how this is going to line up but if you look through the peep sight in the back it's easier to line up these curved surfaces versus trying to um, trying to line up the V inside the, the peep so these I think are a little more a little user friendly and there's two of them there's a uh, a large aperture and a small aperture but if you're going to use iron, iron sights you know for the most part uh, this is for quick target acquisition and this is for a little bit more distance I would say you could probably get out to 100 yards with this um, I use my gangsta sights on my 20 inch AR and I was good to hit a man sized target at 100 yards um, it, it is kind of spring loaded right so that's pretty sturdy there um, and then what you do is you push push this little dealing with bopper here and uh, it, you can collapse it so you can flip it up it's not one um, as Mr. Bullet points said you don't push a button and it flips up you uh, you have to manually flip it up and it is uh, locked in place with a spring you do need an allen key to give you uh, an allen wrench so that is a little annoying if you wanted to take these off they're not quick disconnects but they're you know for sixteen dollars they're they're good sites good sites um, I don't know if you I don't know if you go forward or backwards I don't know I think yeah I think you go backwards like that this this would this would be the muzzle muzzle in and then you would flip it up like that the use a leg of that so these are cool for 16 bucks um, I think they're a good deal for being uh, aluminum yeah and uh, you, you change the front sight as you would an AR front sight and then the back has windage uh, I don't know about elevation um, but it does have windage I think the, the elevation is the front peg there 
windages back here. All right. Last but not least, um, this was not based on a recommendation. Well, it was based on a recommendation, but it wasn't the actual item that was recommended. And it was it's open. Thanks, UPS. Um, and the <laughs> you'll see in a second. I chose this particular one because it was five dollars less expensive than uh, the the default setting one. But uh, it is a um, it is a CYA um, holster, CYA in the waistband uh, Kydex holster. And what is it for? You may ask. Well, let's let's open it up and take a look. This was, I believe, twenty-five dollars, and it is. Uh, let's see where. Yep. Oops. Uh, Veteran-owned and made in USA. Little Gatson snack there. So, um, but just looking at it, there are no rough edges. It's very well very well made very simple that's what I like about it it's already got a cant on it um, no instructions or anything in it um, there's a card in here but this uh, this came from uh, Amazon in a couple of days um, not too bad it's got good good real big um, rubber washers in there and uh, I think it also it, I don't know I think it's it also came with an Allen key, I believe. I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, maybe it did. I don't know. Oh, there, yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it came with this one for uh, for these little Allen screws here. So that, and then you could uh, adjust these. But this is for the drum roll, please. <laughs> My MMP shield, and uh, yes, it is loaded. Um, so, and it's right hand draw, appendix carry, and that is beautiful. Um, I kind of like the color. Uh, it was for some reason, I guess they couldn't sell enough of them or something. They were um, um, overstocked or something, but. Uh, this was five dollars less expensive than the car uh, the uh, the black ones was five dollars more and the carbon fiber was like I think five dollars more than that but um, I think twenty five dollars was the total for this and uh, it's very nice very nice um, there's good cant to it so if you were to carry in the waistband it would cant like that right appendix carry um, the only thing I don't like about it but uh, I plan to wear it with like an undershirt or something. But I might add a little piece of leather or something right here because you can hear it. You hear that? This this handle on the M&P shield is very grippy, and it's like sandpaper. So if you have just your bare skin on here, and with my uh, little extra um, added flesh. <laughs> Uh, rub it on this it does get a little uncomfortable so but I do plan to carry with uh, an additional uh, you know wearing an undershirt or something like that or um, I might like I said I might either put one of those um, rubber rubberized I don't know, big rubber band things on here but uh, good retention Everybody wants to shake it, but if you think about it, this is going to be in your pants, um, right, with, with pressure from your belt, hopefully with pressure on your belt on it, so it's very, very good retention. See, I'm real good at this motion. Um, and even even without the, uh, the pressure on there, it's got really good retention. Um, it's got a good cant and positive, positive click that so 
and of course trigger guard cover and all that so and it's really good deployment there you go so um, those are my purchases uh, online purchases from Amazon and otherwise uh, based on recommendations from fellow fellow youtubers so I hope that helps if you have uh, you know if you are in the market for any of these items I could vouch for all these items that they um, you know of course besides the ones I just got uh, which they do seem to be pretty good very useful and, and very practical and very inexpensive uh, good value items um, go check them out I unfortunately can't leave you any links but hopefully from the description of uh, what I talked about you can find these items and still purchase them so there you have it um, thanks for watching and uh, deserves a little cowbell <laughs>